everyone my name is Steph this is Little Bookish Teacher and today I'm really excited to share with you a new release picture book called Bushbirds by Helen Milroy. This is published by Fremantle Press who sent me a review copy of the book so thank you very much to them and this is coming out on April 4th 2023. This is a gorgeous and simple picture book all about native bushbirds of Australia. On Fremantle Press's website they say little birds, big birds, all different kinds, how many bushbirds can you find? From curious blue wrens to booming emus and from feasting lorikeets to eagle soaring, Bushbirds by Helen Milroy is a fun and lively read with bold illustrations designed to celebrate the birds in that bush. This is a really gorgeous picture book that is written for early readers so it's probably great in a primary school for foundation or kinder to year two and it is just a really gorgeous book to look at and to unpack with students. Helen Milroy is descended from the Paliku people from the Pilbara region in, the, in Western Australia and I apologize if I have mispronounced any of that and it is a gorgeous First Nations text. What I absolutely loved about this as I was reading it was one the gorgeous illustrations they are so colorful and bright and bold hang on I have to find my favorite one look at this it's just gorgeous it also has really simple text in there inside so each page has a bird and one little thing about the bird so this one says Rosella cleans her colorful suit and it's just a little statement related to the bird on the page so how would I use this in the classroom I mean it makes a really great read aloud there's a lot of really great picture books coming out about native birds here in Australia at the moment and this is you know joining the ranks of them but it's a great read aloud because it is a simple text the language is deceptively simple but there are still a lot of things that you can pull out of it and unpack for example there is a really great use of verbs in here which when you're teaching foundation to year two like having good mentor texts that use verbs is so important because verbs have such an important impact in a text and to have simple short texts that you can use to actually draw those out and see how they've been used effectively is really important and Bushbirds does that really really well. It's also really great even just for pulling out additional vocab so not just verbs like the word due which some kids might have heard of but may not know what it actually means and there's a whole lot of those words all the way in here like fiery red why would you use fiery red to pull out those words unpack them think about how you can use them it would make a great writer's notebook lesson to see can we come up with some really great sentences where we would use that word to build vocabulary knowledge great love it I also like the link to the native wildlife because quite often we're doing inquiry units about Australia or about about habitats and this would fit perfectly into a unit like that as a jumping off point for students. So thank you very much again to Fremantle Press for sending me a copy of this book. It's an absolute delight, love it. Love adding it to my First Nations picture book collection and I can't wait to share it with staff and students at school. I'm gonna leave links to where you can find this book and more information about it down below. There are also some really great teacher resources listed on the Fremantle Press website. So if you are thinking of using it in the classroom, that is a great resource to go to because there are links for different units and different discussions you can have around the text. If you'd like to let me know that you're here but you don't wanna leave a comment, feel free to leave any kind of bird emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.